One of the best known and most well-respected names in Formula One makes its return this year as Cosworth supplies four teams on the grid after a three-year sabbatical. Although Cosworth is entering familiar territory in terms of engine technology, the Formula One landscape has changed significantly and Cosworth is playing a key role in the sport's new era. Cosworth's position as an independent engine manufacturer allows it to offer the most competitive, affordable engine package. An attractive proposition in today's cost-conscious F1 world. The, the decade-long um, love affair that the Formula One teams were having with all the car manufacturers started to come to an end for no reasons other than the fact that the world entered a, a severe economic recession. And... Um, that's caused a major rethink uh, within Formula One about the cost base, about the fact that the car manufacturers, whilst always being very welcome because they do provide a, a significant foundation to the sport and always have done, uh, will come and go uh, as they determine different uh, phases of their business cycle, Formula One plays a part or perhaps doesn't. And really the feeling came about that an independent supplier could be a very valuable thing to have, if you like, a safety net for Formula One teams to turn to. The Bahrain Grand Prix starts a new era for Formula One, with an influx of new independent teams choosing Cosworth Power. Cosworth will power three of the sport's new teams, Lotus, Virgin Racing and the recently rebranded HRT team, while the established AT&T Williams team makes its return to Cosworth Power this season. Really, the opportunity for Cosworth to work with these new teams is fascinating. Um, it gives us a great opportunity to play to our strengths, uh, which are really to provide our customers with um, a bulletproof solution in terms of the engine, uh, help them with their electronics and drive train. And really, that opportunity to work with new teams means that we're in the, the middle of a very exciting time for them. The first race in Bahrain begins an eight-month season of 19 races, with drivers only permitted to use eight engines during the campaign. Refueling is prohibited during races for the first time since 1993, putting greater emphasis on fuel consumption and efficiency. Reliability will remain as important as outright performance. Having a good Formula One engine in 2010 is probably less about peak power and more about the way in which you use your fuel over the course of a race, how much fuel you use, because obviously if the teams can start with less fuel on board, the cars are lighter, faster, easier on their tyres. Cosworth has an impressive heritage in Formula One, spanning over 50 years with 176 Grand Prix wins, so the company knows the demands of F1 racing. In the three years since the company has been out of Formula One, Cosworth has undertaken a period of diversification into adjacent markets such as marine, energy and aerospace. When we were last in Formula One in 2006, uh, motorsport was the predominant activity of the business. Um, now the company has a much wider spread into um, some really quite interesting adjacent markets as well as motorsport. So as Cosworth has evolved into a global player of engineering excellence, so too has Formula One evolved. A new look Cosworth for a new look Formula One, both with the same global ambitions.